say, hey, TikTok. This is not TikTok. Let me switch over. This is why I like to be in certain modes when I'm in that mode. And I don't like to switch modes. Anyways, when y'all see this angle, this view, this room, um, we probably about to try on some clothes. Okay, we probably about to open some packages. We probably about to show y'all some new products. Um, because otherwise I would probably be vlogging or working on the podcast. If y'all haven't watched episode one, please go watch my podcast and comment and let me know what y'all think so we can improve and get better and critique ourselves as individuals. But nonetheless. Dun, 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 it's my normally monthly subscription package, but they sent it in two different envelopes this time. So we're gonna open up um my Savage Fenty for the month. This was for the month of September. They also just dropped a new diesel and Savage Fenty collab. I really actually wasn't raving over it like I thought I would be. I thought diesel would take over more so, but Ruby still got her stamp on it. Granted, it's not terrible. It's just nothing that I need to um, swipe before my membership credit. Okay? Speaking of membership credits, y'all. Before I get into this. Okay, so if y'all have a Savage Fenty account, please back me up. When I first got this account, I could have sworn. Y'all quote me if I'm wrong. I could have sworn that you either make a purchase or be charged. Right? It's like either or. Because if you're making a purchase... You don't get subs you don't get charged your subscription monthly fee, which is the sixty dollars. Because if you make a purchase, that's what I thought. Either or. Lately, I've been having to ask, ask the experts and asking around because even if I purchase something, they still charge me. They still charge me. So last month or was it August? I believe it was August. Sorry if y'all hear some background, y'all. It's daytime. I'm nice outside. The kids are outside. August, I ordered a set or ordered something. Um, I used my member credit and I had like $6 remaining or whatever. I don't remember. Some draws was like $6. So I, I paid for the extra or whatever and used my credit. This was before the sixth of the month. That's when you're supposed to, you know, use your credit or not. So when the sixth of the month came, I still got charged. I'm like, I would already paid $13. Now I'm paying $60 more dollars. So the agent, and I didn't turn it up on her because this might be Riri's doing and not the agent's doing. The agent informed me that she's not getting paid, so don't look at her too much. The agent informed me that even if you um purchase for the month or don't purchase for the month, you have to click the option to either use the membership or skip the month. So I guess it, back then, well, to me, it was automatically applied that you would be skipping the monthly membership charge if you were purchasing something. Because normally, that's how I've been doing. Like I said, I've been buying stuff for a while now. I've had this membership for at least a year. But lately, I've been getting charged even though I'm still ordering stuff. So the lady told me that if you don't want to be charged a membership credit, meaning once you get charged that $60, you now have $60 worth of credits, which is really one credit. But that's one set, one piece, one bundle, whatever. You have $60 worth of credit to use next month. If you don't want to have the credit, you can say you can opt to skip out of your membership for the month and you won't be charged. Or if you buy something, now you still have to say if you want to get another credit or not. Like what? If I'm purchasing something, I feel like I should automatically get a membership credit. I don't feel like I need to be charged for the monthly. But whatever, Riri. You my girl, Pisces the Pisces. I'll never knock no hustle. Because one thing about us, we some hustlers. Okay? But let's get into it. I uh, know I ordered a robe, I believe. So maybe that's why I got two different packages. But let's open the smaller one first. Um, hold on, y'all. This bra, let me see. Do y'all remember me showing y'all this bra right here in one of my trial hauls? The sheer mesh demi something something. Go get this damn bra. Go get this damn bra. Go get this damn bra. It's so comfortable even though it's wired it's so comfortable it's so plush and it still covers even though it's um no padding or nothing really it still covers enough to where you're not showing like full-on nip like the impression is there but the the nip come on now get this fucking bra and it's comfortable i'm gonna get another one moving along I got some cute little stuff. Let's see. I'll be really forgetting. Because, like I said, this was last month. And it was at the top of the month. 
Oh, wait. Yeah, I already skipped this one. See, now Ruby got my ass scared and acted up. These are the Steamy Floor Brazilian um, underwears in the in the color Black Caviar, but it's a Black Caviar and Romance colorway. Cute. These are, ooh, shit. So it's like a little cutout on the butt, mesh on the butt, lace on the front. One thing about Ruby, I love that even if she gives us a lace number, she still gives us cotton or satin silk, some type of pattern because lace on the kuchuwap ain't no good. It ain't good for you. Ladies, stop wearing lace down there. But lace on top, how cute are these? Love those. Y'all know I got everything in a size medium. If you don't know, now you know. Everything is size medium. Um, And I I do love how Ruby website is like subject to everybody's sizes. Like when you make your account and you start ordering purchases and stuff like that, it's automatically connected to like your bra size. Um, When you do a search, the filter for your sizing will automatically pop up. Like so when I do a search on Savage Fenty or I go to new items or I go to filter for me or whatever, it'll be... I don't even know my damn bra size. 34, 36D, size medium, size medium to large. It already has your filters already calculated for you. Moving along. These videos are not going to be too long. I just be liking to show y'all what's worth it and what's not worth it. Um, I don't remember what else I got for my last haul, but that black bra is worth it. These, I can tell you right now, go get these cute little, get cute little drawers with the cutout. They're worth it. That's like my third pair. I have next the um the Cotton Essentials Unlined Bra. That's what that blue one is. It's unlined. It has no material, nothing. Um, and this is in a purple and pink print. Y'all know the, the standard little Savage X Fenty print that used to be around. This was on sale for I think like five dollars. And it's a um bralette. Um, not too much raving over this. I will say, I will say Bri Rob Rob Bri Bri Girl. That this one, I don't know if it's been thicker material because this is my, well, I actually have the drawers, I think, to this. But they're not that thick. This bra, even though it's unlined, it's very, I'm going to say very thick. But it's a thick material. It's like pajama-y. And this is great because my nips be cold in the wintertime. So this is actually freaking perfect, not going to lie. Um, If you're looking for a winter staple, you're looking for a new bra to the collection, definitely get this comfortability color all that get it get it get it get it get it, get it. moving right along that's all i had in that bag mm. this order like i said it probably wasn't hectic y'all because i've been getting bamboo before they got me probably for 120 in the last three months 120 plus my little purchasing price that's added up so yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. mind you i'm a grown woman so i'm trying to embrace like having a lingerie membership and getting clean, new, fresh, untainted, unripped drawers on a regular. Because granted, my drawers look nice, but they're so old. Like, I do have some frayed ones, but all of my drawers are old. Um, I'm just starting to keep my black collection up to date. At first, I only had, like, one black pair of underwear. Now, I have, like, three or four. And I still don't think that's enough because you got to get the different cuts and the different materials and all this other bullshit. But anyways... Moving along to back to, let's see. Okay, so that's the robe, but I'm gonna show y'all that last just cause it's big. I'm gonna knock out the rest of this. When I see boxes, well, yeah, when I see boxes, I kinda assume they for my girlfriend, but they might be for me. When I see blue boxes, I know they for my girlfriend cause I can't stand the color blue. But these are the, the I Dare Q, not I Dare You, I Dare Hue boxers. And it doesn't say what color it is, but I got these because of the material. Like I said, it's about to get chilly, finally. And these are like a cotton terry material. I don't know if y'all can tell. Very soft. But, ooh, I hope I didn't just get a gloss on it. Oh, well, very comfortable. And yes, um, if I buy for her, I get to wear these too. But yeah, she goes through jaws like, I, I, I don't even know what I was about to say that like a girl. But you know how feminine women keep up in changing their drawers often? She right with me. Okay, so when I try to buy me underwear, I try to get her underwear too. 
and these are kind of like in betweens so i feel like they are technically supposed to be underwear but these are loose fitted so some days you may wear this as underwear some days you may wear it as shorts or some underneath you just you just never know with her um but that's that what else do I got? What else do we got? What else do we got? What else do we got? I think I got one more lingerie piece, y'all. These, when I see that green, you know it's from me, baby. This is my favorite color, okay? Any shade of green. I'm not biased. Forest green, mint green, lime green, olive green, um, chartreuse. Char is it chartreuse or chartreuse? Chart chartreuse. <laughs> that color is one of my favorite shades of green okay these are this also didn't have a color on it or nothing no label let's see the miami green cotton essentials boy shorts um and then it's in the famous savage print again and of course he's in a size medium um i got another pair of boy shorts because i wanted to compare these to the oh that's what i got i would try to insert a screenshot y'all remember the little blue set i had like a it was like a baby blue uh, seamless bralette with the matching boy shorts. Those boy shorts, I love them. They're so thick. They're very durable. They have a waistband that's pretty thick. But I wanted something like boy short, but not as thick, not as heavy, not as short-like, more like underwear-like. And these are it. Got the lace trim. They're much thinner. Even though these say boy short, they looking like regular, like, what's those called? Is this Cheeksters? That's just a regular cut? I don't know. Either way it go, it's going to be up my booty crack. Either way, whether it's a boy shirt or not, I can have these on. They're going to be in my booty crack. So, I ain't too mad. I'm more about material, stretch, and longevity. And I'm pulling these all out the plastic because I wash my undergarments and all that stuff as soon as I get them before I put them on. So, even though I'm showing y'all this, this shit not going to touch the skin until next wash day. You feel me? do you feel me and most of the time i don't have to send it back like i said unless it's the wrong sizing or they gave me extras or something or something like that but it's definitely worth the send back it's just most of the time i don't have to send it back because it'd be fair and i'd be wanting this shit okay last but not least i have the signature script velour robe um this was also I don't know if it was on sale or it was worth one credit. One of the two. It was worth it, okay? Um, I am a robe girl to the core. To the core. I love anything soft, smell good. Like, I'm, I'm a girl's girl. I currently have, like, four robes. Five robes. I have one. I have two silk robes. One is very, very, very long. One is very, very, very short. I have a long gray robe that's silk soft. I have a Juicy Couture robe, and then I have another Victoria's Secret robe. So, added to my collection, I don't got that Fin Fin, and I don't got Versace either yet. So, once I get those, I might share. This robe is um, unisex on the website, and it's going to be unisex in here too. Okay, period. I might try this on for y'all to just give you a one too, but look at the material in the print. It's actually giving me kind of old school Victoria's Secret, but I love it. It's like spooky. I don't know if I'm in my Halloween mood, but let's just get try it on from where we at. Love this. Love the heavy sleeves. Mind you, this is a medium. Like I said, it is unisex, but this one is giving sexy. Sexy. On it. Ain't it. Let me forget. That's not TikTok. Anyways, love the robe. If y'all don't get nothing else, get this goddamn robe um it's thick but it's not that thick i have thicker like i have that the long gray robe i was saying my sister got that i don't know the material she got it for me years ago and i still have it the material is given like target or coals like it's very thick this i love how it feels but it's not that thick on the like i like to take my robes in the house outside well i'm not gonna say outside but on my deck and patio and shit so they kind of like need to be weatherproof this one i don't know on the thickness scale, it may be like a six or seven. It's not the thickest. It's really not the thickest, but it is great quality. I can tell. It is stiffer and firmer than some of my other robes, so I'll give her that. But nonetheless, Rivery, I'm always impressed, girl. Um, I do wish that we had... Um, What would I wish? 
more colors or if we had like more on theme shit because i i don't know maybe i'm speaking too soon or maybe it didn't come yet but i was i was hoping and praying you had like some halloween stuff or maybe you have some christmas draws on the way that's just my little tidbit um Brie Brie. nonetheless oh and can we break down the membership oh what no okay anyways that's all i got y'all um tune in next time for my next unboxing also tune in to episode two of the podcast if my next try on haul is not savage x fancy it's going to be like a low jeans haul low rise jeans haul or it's going to be an aliexpress haul because i've never ordered anything from aliexpress and i've been scrambling to try to find like some actual that's a little emblem right there that's cute too it's kind of giving me wednesday vibes or i'm giving them wednesday vibes but either way um i never ordered from aliexpress and i did find some things that i kind of want to order and try out to see if the quality hit in or not hit in but until then love you guys happy holidays stay safe go watch the podcast be ready for the next episode of the podcast if you want to be on the podcast definitely comment below if y'all want to see a specific try on haul of some type of content some type of clothing a certain brand comment that down below love you guys see you guys next time let me know about my vocals in the comments below.